Hey, I'm Fred from Optimizer. Today, I'm going to show you how to do conversion value adjustments in Google Ads. First, let me explain to you why conversion value adjustments are useful. So if you're doing e-commerce and you report a conversion after somebody checks out from the shopping cart, then that means the ad was clicked, the product was bought, and you report a conversion when something good happened. But now the fact is, how many times does somebody buy something and then return a bunch of stuff? It's actually pretty frequent. So are you adjusting your value for that? Uh, but on the flip side, somebody buys something from you and then goes on and maybe signs up for your company's credit card or they become a super loyal customer and they make a bunch more purchases or they uh, go on social media and they recommend your products to their friends. All of these are great behaviors. Are you valuing for that? So all of this stuff happens offline after the initial conversion. Chances are you're not reporting that. And it's really important to report this different value because automated bidding systems from Google will try to get you more clicks to drive high value. So if they don't see returns happening, they will get you more customers who return a lot of stuff. But if you tell them when returns happen, they'll stop doing that and get you better conversions. So by using conversion adjustments, you can actually go back into Google after that initial purchase which you uh, reported in step one. And now in step two, you can actually adjust that value. And so to do this in step one, you have to give Google just a little bit more information. And the specific information is going to be the transaction ID or the order ID. But really, that's just some unique, some unique string. That's all it has to be. And then later on, in the next 55 days, that's how much time Google gives you. In the next 55 days, you can restate that value. And so what I want to show you today is how you actually achieve doing this. So the first thing we need to do is put the transaction ID on the page that has the conversion pixel that's associated with Google Ads. So that's likely going to be the page after somebody's checked out their basket. Now, how do you put in that transaction ID? So go to the URL that we're showing on the page here, but then here's the key thing. So you're going to put in a new uh, little piece of text that says transaction ID what it's equal to, and then that's dynamically going to insert the order ID. Now, what this order ID is, isn't really that important, but the key thing is it has to be unique, right? So you don't want to have two transactions with the same order ID, because then if you were to go and update it, Google wouldn't know which one you were talking about. So just make sure these are unique. So after you've got that set, you have to start collecting your data on your end and import that into Google. So I'm going to show you that next. The Google documentation is not great, but what you'll find out you have to do is go to Tools and Settings, go to the Conversion section, and then there's a section in there for Uploads. In here, you're going to make a new upload, and you're going to look at these templates. So there's different templates depending on what you're trying to do. In this case, we're trying to update existing conversions using the order ID. In this case, it's called order ID, but it's really also the same as the transaction ID. So this is the one you use. So you click on the Google Sheet. The Google Sheet will show you a preview of the columns that are necessary. So I've taken Google's template and made my own copy of it. And I've put in my transaction IDs in the order ID field. This is also the conversion name that it was associated with, with the original conversion, the adjustment time, including the time zone. And then you have an option of either restating the value. So in this case, we're restating Perhaps a conversion that used to be $100 is now being restated to $50 US dollars. But you can also retract a conversion entirely. Now keep in mind, if you retract a conversion, that action cannot be undone. So be careful with that one. But uh, I've made my own uh, spreadsheet here. Now we're going to go back into Google. And we're going to make sure that this user is given permission on the spreadsheet that we have. So we're going to share it here. And if that person is not already in there. We're going to give them access. And now we're going to go back into Google Ads and we're going to find that spreadsheet to use for updating the transactions. Then we go and find our recent spreadsheet, conversion adjustments. We select that and now we can preview it. And then here you have the result. So in my case, I was just faking some of these transaction IDs. So Google gives me a status that there's an issue with these. But if you had used your correct transaction IDs, as well as your correct conversion action, then you would see that your transactions would now be adjusted. 
Uh, of course, to adjust them, make sure you hit the apply button and don't just run the preview. So there you have it. That's how you use conversion adjustments with Google Ads to better inform Google about what's really happening with your conversions. And remember, this is a technique, a modern 2022 PPC technique that's going to help you get better results, especially when you're using automations from Google, things like smart bidding, things like broad match keywords, things like responsive search ads. So go ahead and try this out and let us know how you do with it.